Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am finally doing my skincare routine. A lot of you have been requesting this video, and today is that day. I have been doing a lot of research, and I took a lot of notes for you guys. Here are my notes. So I wanted to make this video as informative as possible because I wanted you to be informed consumer. That way, the products that I share with you today, you can decide what you would think would be most beneficial for your skincare routine. And stay tuned because there's gonna be a little surprise in the video. So the first step in any good skincare routine is cleansing. So we want to cleanse our face to remove our makeup and remove any buildup of sweat, dirt, oil, bacteria, all that stuff that could have gotten on our faces throughout the day. So you want to remove that so that way when you go in with your next products, the ingredients can properly penetrate the skin. And if you don't have a routine, this is a step that I would recommend with you starting. Cleansing makes such a difference. So it's really important to find a cleanser that does not strip your skin. So that's why you don't want to use soap. And you want to find cleansers that won't give you that dry and tight feeling because that's so bad. What it's doing is that it's creating these micro cracks in your skin. And when those cracks are created, bacteria and things like that are falling into it and then getting trapped and then that's going to cause acne. So the cleansers that I'm going to recommend to you today do not leave my skin feeling dry whatsoever. So the first cleanser that I'm gonna share with you guys is an oil cleanser and I have been loving oil cleansing lately. I do it as part of a double cleanse. So I'll first start off with an oil-based cleanser and then wash it off with a water-based cleanser. And I have been loving this one by E Nature. It's their Moringa Cleansing Balm. So oil cleansing is amazing because it's so good at removing your makeup and it also helps to dissolve the gunk within your pores. So since it's an oil, it's going to help nourish and soften the skin. I have really, really been liking this one. So if you're going to start doing oil cleansing, you have to follow it up with a water-based cleanser. So the two that I have here are the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser and the Skin Fix Foaming Clay Cleanser. So I follow a lot of skincare experts here on YouTube and they always recommend the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser and that's because this cleanser does not leave you feeling dry whatsoever. The surfactants in this cleanser are actually the same type of surfactants that are used in contact lens solution. So it's super, super gentle for your face and your eyes. If you have sensitive skin, I think you're gonna like this. If you have dry skin, you're gonna like this. Honestly, it's just an all around amazing cleanser. Um, but I just wanted to recommend another one to you because this one can only be bought online. And the other one that I like is the Skin Fix Foaming Clay Cleanser. So this cleanser here contains clay, and if you know anything about clay, like the clay mud mask, it helps to remove impurities from the skin. This guy here also does not leave my skin feeling dry at all. And I think it just recently won the Allure Best of Beauty. It's really up to you which cleanser you wanna try. They're both equally as good. This one, I think if you buy it from Target, it's $15. And this one I think is $18 or $19 full price, but I do have 20% off to it. So I'll leave the link down below if you're interested. But yeah, highly, highly recommend these. So yeah, and then I have one more cleanser and I just wanted to mention this one because I do use this one when I am breaking out and it's the Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. Okay, so this cleanser here, I've been using it since I was literally 15 years old and it has never done me wrong. So the reason why I like this is because it contains benzoyl peroxide and benzoyl peroxide helps to kill the bacteria that causes acne on your face. So whenever I'm breaking out, I like to reach for this one, but if I'm not breaking out, it's not necessary. And again, this one does not leave my skin feeling dry either, and it's pretty inexpensive. I have one more cleanser to mention. I know it's a lot, but I have to mention this guy. So this cleanser here is the Bioderma Micellar Water. You might have heard of this cleanser before because it's so popular. I think one bottle of this is sold every five seconds, so that shows how popular it is. But the reason why I love it is because we all have those lazy days where we don't feel like going to wash our face. So usually the way that I like to apply is I like to soak the cotton pads and then I'll put the cotton pads on my eyes and use that to remove my makeup and then get a new cotton pad and just rinse off my face. I have never once broken out from using this. It's super, super gentle. Um, but yeah, if you're someone that does forget to wash their makeup off, I highly recommend you get a micellar water, just leave it next to your bed and that way you remember to take off your makeup. Okay, so those are all my cleansers. So after I'm done with cleansing, I have to decide if I wanna just skip straight to my serum or give myself a little bit of a treatment. So if I do have those days, um, I'll either 
use a sheet mask or I'll exfoliate my skin. So when it comes to exfoliating, you have the choice of either doing a chemical exfoliant or a physical exfoliant. And this guy is a little bit of a mix between both of them. So these pads are textured on one side, so it's going to help give you a little bit of that physical exfoliant while still being super gentle. And then it also contains chemical exfoliants like lactic acid, niacinamide, and vitamin C. So all of that's going to help give you a nice, brighter complexion. So my mom has also been loving these. She likes stealing them from me. And they have different flavors. So they have a green tea one for sensitive skin and then a wine one. That one sounds kind of interesting. I want to try it. Um, but everyone that I know that have tried these are freaking obsessed with them. So yeah, I been freaking loving these. So the other type of treatment that I like to give myself sometimes are going in with sheet mask. And the trend that I usually pick are either brightening or hydrating. And these ones here are my favorites, especially this one by Starskin. Um, I actually first found this when I was visiting my dad over in Switzerland. And then when I came back to the States, they didn't sell them. But recently Barney started selling them and I don't have a Barney's near my house but they do free shipping for like any price. So these sheet masks are a little bit pricey. They're $10, but they're so good. Um, I like to save these for special events or if I wanna look really good the next day. Okay, and the other two that I like are the Leaders in Solution mask. They sell these at Anthropology, and I'm not sure where else. And then this en Enos Free Green Tea one. I like sheet masks with green tea. I feel like green tea is a really good ingredient for your skin. Um, so yeah, so if you guys were listening in the beginning of the video, I said there was going to be a little surprise and this is the surprise. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with the sheet mask. I'm going to post a picture of this on my Instagram and all you're going to have to do is tag two friends and then you'll be entered to win the sheet mask. So I just wanted to mention real quick before I go into the serums, recently in my skincare routine I started doing toner and essence and these two are the ones that I use. But since it's something I've been doing pretty recently, I'm going to explain them in a different video. And there's going to be another surprise in that video. So stay tuned for that one coming up. Um, but I just wanted to give that a little quick shout out. Um, okay, so now moving on to serums. So serums are my favorite part of my skincare routine because I feel like those are the things that I have noticed really make an immediate difference with my skin. So the way that serums are formulated is that it's the only thing with molecules small enough to penetrate into the deeper layers of our skin. So when you apply a serum, it's gonna help fix your skin from the inside out. So my two favorite serums is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I like this for anti-aging. And then the Triple C Lightning Liquid, and this is a vitamin C serum. So this first one here, the Estee Lauder one, my mom has been using this since I was in high school, which means I've been stealing it from her since I was in high school. Um, <laughs> but this one, so the way that this one works is that it helps to accelerate the cellular turnover. So it's going to help repair your damaged cells faster. But yeah, this guy is a cult classic. It's been around for a long time. A lot of people love it. This is a serum that I will always, always repurchase because I love it that much. All right, so for the next serum. So one of my favorite ingredients in skincare is vitamin C. And vitamin C has a whole bunch of benefits, but I really like it because it helps to brighten up my skin complexion and it's really helped to fade some acne scars that I had. And vitamin C also produces a ceramide, so that helps to strengthen your skin barrier, so it's going to make your skin healthier. Okay. So when it comes to vitamin C, not all vitamin C's are equally as effective. And I've tried a few of them, and this one I have noticed make a significant difference to my skin. So this one's actually pretty high. It contains 20.5%. I think most of them contain less than 10%. And the next morning, I noticed my skin looking brighter. Okay, so the thing with this one, because it's so strong, you can apply it during the daytime. You should only apply it at night. And it needs to be stored in the refrigerator in order to keep the integrity of the vitamin C. But yeah, if you're looking for a good vitamin C serum that's going to give you results right away, I highly recommend this one. So those are the two serums that I'm obsessed with. And when it comes to the morning, I have two serums that I kind of interchange. It's the H2O Water Bright Illuminating Serum and the Derma E Vitamin C Serum. So this serum I use all summer long and I did notice results from it, but not as quickly as the other vitamin C that I just mentioned. But yeah, so when I don't use that vitamin C serum at nighttime, I like to go in with one of these two because vitamin C helps to fight, what is it? Vitamin C helps to fight radical sun damage or something like that. I'll like put the correct term down here. Um, 
And then this one's pretty inexpensive, but it is good. And then this one here contains dimethicone in it, and that's a silicone. So a lot of primers contain it. So I do like using this underneath of my makeup as a primer. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to shout those out real quick. Okay. So now moving on. So after applying my serum, the way that you want to apply on your products is from the thinnest viscosity to the thickest. So after applying on my serums, I like to apply my eye cream. So I feel a little bit guilty talking about this product because it is pricey, but it really has made such a difference for my under eyes. I've tried other expensive eye creams before and okay, I spend money on eye creams because I feel like my under eyes are quite wrinkly for my age, but this one here has been the only one that I've really seen make a difference. So the reason why I like this eye cream is because it's really helped to diminish those fine lines underneath of my eyes. And I also feel like it's made this part of my eye like stronger. Like it's just made it slightly thicker. So now my under eyes don't look as hollow. So the way that this works is that it contains amino acids and that helps to retain the moisture in the skin. So my mom actually used to work for this brand but she doesn't work for them anymore. But once I'm done with this one, this is an eye cream that I'm going to continue to repurchase just because I really feel like it works and it's hard to find an eye cream that works. So I keep wanting to like explain the price tag because I know it's a big investment but I just want to say this was the original eye cream that Lapri created like over 30 years ago and it's still one of their number one selling products so I feel like that says a lot about it. It just goes to show you that it really does work. Like. If it didn't work, people wouldn't be buying it for over 30 years, you know? So yeah, if you're a little bit older and you can afford it, I highly recommend trying out this eye cream, especially if you have dry under eyes. So depending on my mood, sometimes I like to go in with the facial oil after I apply on my serums. And two good ones that I have found are the Coralie Detox Oil and the Julep Boost Your Radiance Rosehip Oil. Okay, so this oil here helps to fight off free radicals, so it's gonna help repair the skin. Um, it is a dry oil, so if you have oily skin, I think you will like this. Recently, they just changed the packaging, so I actually was able to find this for half off at the Norton Rack, so maybe you might get lucky and find it yourself, but yeah, it's a very good oil, and I highly recommend it. <laughs> this oil, I actually love it a little bit more, just because that one smells... The detox oil smells a little bit uh, earthy, I would say. Yeah, this one smells really nice. So if you start researching facial oils, you're gonna find rosehip oil being highly recommended. So basically it's considered an anti-aging oil because it's a form of vitamin A. So this oil is high in linoleic acid, so it's good for people with oily skin because it's not going to be too heavy. So like the bottle says, I do feel more radiant after I use it. Um, me personally, I don't like the smell of rose. Part of the reason why I like this is because it doesn't. Okay, so the last step in my skincare routine is moisturizer, and this was a step that I used to spend money on, but now that I've been doing different steps in between, I don't really feel like it's necessary to get an expensive moisturizer. Um, basically, the reason why you want to put moisturizer at the end is just to seal in all of those good products that you've applied. So good inexpensive moisturizer is this one by Pons. I think this size bottle is like maybe five or seven dollars. Okay, so I just wanted to give this moisturizer a shout out real quick because this is the second time that I've purchased this. There are some days where I'm lazy and I don't feel like going through all of the steps. So when I do have those days, I usually will just cleanse my face and then apply on a moisturizer. And one that I like is the Kiehl's Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Moisturizer. So this moisturizer contains copper peptides, so that's a really good ingredient to mix with vitamin C. Kiehl's is an amazing skincare brand. You really can't go wrong with anything from Kiehl's. So yeah, I just wanted to mention this because it is something that I have repurchased. But yeah, that's it for my skincare routine. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I will leave a link down below. And stay tuned for that video that I'm going to do on essence and toner. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful and that you learned something new. And if you liked it, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Ciao, bye guys.